when I was uh, in Europe and reading the European papers, most of the financial news was about what's going on in China. And I tell you what, France is, they, they may brag about the fact they're going to take China on on robots, but they are way, way, way behind. As a matter of fact, China was number one. The U.S. was uh, number three, I believe, and I think Japan was, was two. Uh, Japan and the U.S. are very close to each other. China was way ahead and growing at a much, much faster rate. I don't. That if you want to know the model, if you want to know the model of the world, folks, China they admit is the globalist model. Suicide nets at the Apple factories, forced abortions mm -hmm. at the Apple factories, total tyranny, forced drugging, uh, children chained up on light poles to defecate on the street and, and get one meal a day while their parents work in factories with engineering degrees. And ladies, this is. Mainstream news. This is what we're competing against. This is our future. Except soon, now, now Foxcom, the, the Apple company that they use, uh, announced this year. You can pull it up. We'll pull it up in the next segment and show people they plan to replace all of their 10 million workers with robots and have already done it with a million workers. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security by sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is doing designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your super male vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. This is Scottish John for Infowars.com. I know that most of you here in this commercial already know about the New World Order, eugenics, and all the other issues covered here at Infowars. The question is, do your friends and family know? If not, then I want to know why. Oh, I know it's tough to talk about this with some people. They might call you names, or they just want to talk about sports or soap operas. I say, so what? There's a battle going on out there right now. The ammunition is information, and the soldiers are you. It's time to transform your game from passive listening 
listener to Active Participant. We from Scotland have had our skin in this game for the greater part of the last thousand years. And I'm still fighting. If we don't all stand up right now, we're going to lose everything. The Infowar is worldwide. Tell your friends about Infowars and let them know that Infowars doesn't print bull. It's real journalism and news backed up by documented fact. Step up and take your friends and family to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.tv and PlanetInfowars.com. The truth will set them free. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. So we have even right there. What's his name? is a war. It's happening now. It will decide the fate of humanity. The time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight and I have on Skype Alex Jones on this June 8th edition of the Alex Jones Show. Now we were talking just before the break and we've been talking this whole program about the effect of uncontrolled immigration on employ unemployment. But what about the future? Well, we say that's gonna be coming, the threat in the future is not necessarily gonna be people taking our jobs, but it's gonna be machines taking our jobs. And as we pointed out in this article, one of the quotes from it, they said, beyond defense, the biggest non-industrial market for robots are gonna be things like agriculture, healthcare. Okay, that's where they're coming in. But notice that they said beyond defense, that is the biggest market for robotics. That should scare us all, shouldn't it, Alex? And they've openly said, and now it's being announced in the news, I told people 10 years ago that MIT and others said, first the cars will roll out limited, then we'll show the robot cars are better than humans, then we'll give you higher insurance if you don't let the robot drive, then we'll phase out humans driving entirely. And Bill Joy wrote in 2000, April issue of Wired Magazine, billionaire owner of Sun Microsystems, that again, he went to a meeting of 200 plus top tech owners. And they made the decision at the meeting, they said no, the consensus is we're just not going to let humanity live and just play games and watch movies all day. We're going to phase out humanity as we know it. We're going to merge with machines. And again, the architecture has already been decided. The future's already been decided. No one's being consulted. They've got us fighting with each other over what color we are when the decision has been made publicly. Zbigniew Brzezinski, uh, all of them have written, Ray Kurzweil, uh, Bill Joy, all of them. I mean, it's in all the tech magazines now. When I was first telling people this 18, 19 years ago, folks thought I was nuts. Now it's out in the open. People are just being acclimated like wall Martians, you know, wandering around. And I'm frantic because everything I warn people about is now becoming passe and just happening. And... Again, it's an anti-human move. We should be using machines to empower us to go to the stars. They've decided humans will never even go to space. Homo sapiens sapiens will never even go to space. The globalists openly say that, that they're gonna merge the machines and they'll go to space. Well, I mean, who made them God? And, and then all the tech they build has back doors to control us. So I hope people out there on the immigration issue understand we feel for those in Latin America under globalist enslavement. We covered that earlier. And the, and the Bloomberg article admitting that they're cutting the drinking water off to pay the globalist debts that were set up as frauds. They're imploding the third world to then implode the first world where only the globalist and government and university and institution reservations are above the law, tax exempt, with the high technology, where everybody else is in total squalor to remove the wealth out of the system so that we're totally dependent on them and only looking for food to eat and on government assistance to get the food while robot factories. I need to explain this to people because this is this is the key to everything. First, they use third world labor and Chinese slave goods to leverage out the whole world, destroy the artisan class, the middle class factory workers section, the local decentralized privately held factory system in the West, in Europe, in the United States, in Canada, in Australia. Then they roll in giant third world collapse populations because the race at the bottom actually brought them down a level, forced them off their agra areas, 
from Africa to Latin America to Asia on record, Agenda 21, into the big cities to work as slaves. Now those factories are imploding, there's no jobs. They're being replaced with robots. In the next phase, you flood the first world. This is a stated plan, folks. I'm giving it to you right now. Flooding the first world with the third world population who you radicalize into socialism to overthrow the old West, collapsing that. Then you seal the borders, keep those contained, once you have the political unit controlled, and then you start killing off the giant third world countries with bioweapon releases, you use the backlash against the immigrants in the phase two to then uh, fortress your country. Then that fortress is used to keep the bioweapon out when you wipe out the third world in phase three. Then after you've wiped out the third world and killed, say, seven billion people by that time, so it'll be about nine billion when they run the call operation in their own admissions. We're seven and a half bill right now, about 2020, 2025, when they do the mass extermination of the third world. Then a hyper police state comes in in the first world that's left. And of course, V for Vendetta is all about this. I told you about the mass plague operation before that movie, but I know the Wachowski brothers are listeners, that's on record. But the whole point is, is they inculcated that and that they use a bio plague to bring in the tyranny. And then you know, England prevails. England's the only country left. That's a, 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 a icon for the first world. And then, then they finally start selective bioweapon releases within the first world to reduce it down to 100 million that David Rockefeller, Prince Philip, Prince Bernhard, Prince Charles, uh, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, uh, who's the big one, the CNN guy, uh, Ted Turner. They're all eugenicists. They're all in eugenics meetings. That's ABC News, CBS News. That's the cult, and this is the plan. So they're going to phase us out with robots and human labor, call us down, get us to where we do everything we're told just to be able to get the government check. Even if we work in a private factory, we'll, we'll be controlled by that. And then they're going to release the final bioweapon plagues uh, or have robots basically sent out to, to uh, call the rest of us that are left. Because the big lie for the bureaucratic class is there's not going to be 100 million left. They only tell the bureaucrats and the Dr. Eric Piancas and people that are going along with it, they only tell them that so they feel like they can be part of this plan. When you read the deeper writings, they say humans are a plague, all humans will be exterminated, only the one supreme God being, Ray Kurzweil says he will become God, he doesn't believe in God now, but but believes he will become God. There will only be one being left because the final computer human beings will fight with each other over supremacy. Now that sounds insane because it is insane. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm saying this is the program, this is the plan that we've laid out today, and that's why I start hyperventilating because it's all public. It's all public and it's unfolding now. So the immigration issue is only one piece of it. They use our goodwill, our caring for the third world, our caring for third world people, wanting to help them to help them. We can't help seven billion people. We have to get liberty in their countries. But see, if they can't use the West as a steam valve, those countries will have revolutions and reform themselves. The globalists are steering us into disaster by design. That's what I'm trying to break down. You're living in a science fiction movie. I'm begging everyone out there, please listen to me and realize how much danger you're in. Spread the word about the broadcast. I know that we have the documents, we have the proof, we have the facts at Infowars.com. You've seen it all start to unfold and come true. I'm not a pessimist. I believe if we admit how serious things are, we have a chance to stop it. And I believe that if we get past the fear and realize that we can change the world and realize the globalist program, we can reverse all this. But the plan is so over the top, so evil, so out of control. Only admitting how diabolical it is can allow us to stand up against it. People have to realize there's no future if we don't turn this around. David Knight's coming up with the calls. I'll be back this entire week live in studio in Austin, all three hours each day, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Great job to the crew and our affiliates. Please support our sponsors at InfoWarsLife.com that David will tell you about when we come back right after this break and your phone calls. What's immigration doing for you? We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hi. I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from seven to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 
300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com.